<laughs> and when she started talking to me that you know, part of the happiness industry and the counseling is actually finding solutions where you, you can work together. You know, little things like I was saying a couple of weeks ago, like retraining the way you speak by doing some what we call um, conditioning your mindfulness, training your mindfulness. So the next time you speak to your partner, you say to yourself, I'm going to say something nice, I'm going to say something nice, I'm going to say something nice. So that when you start opening your mouth, that thought comes up, that program starts to activate. And it's incredibly how powerful that is, because you condition, train your mindfulness by making resolutions. When your mind is the most susceptible, which is usually when you relax, you're at peace, when everything is nice, making those resolutions at that time, put them in your brain, and what happens later on? It's stored in there somewhere. When the trigger is pulled, because you say, when I'm speaking with my wife, when I'm speaking with my husband, when you start to speak, the connection is made, the button is pressed, and you stop yourself. Instead of actually saying something nasty, which is just your habit. You don't mean nasty things, but you get into these habits of speech, these reactive patterns. And when you program that mindfulness, you give that instruction, you're about to say these same old things, and remember, no, I'm not, I'm going to say something nice. You break the habits. And it's amazingly how simple but how powerful that can be to change the way you speak to somebody. Which is dysfunctional sometimes the way we speak. We don't really mean that, it's just we get in a habit. And you get into these terrible conversations and arguments. You want to change, we don't know how. This is how you change. So you can teach people how to do this and people are so happy that you give them another way of looking. Or you do teach them about you know, the similes like the two bad bricks in the wall. Instead of just thinking about the two bad bricks and wanting to destroy the wall, see the whole wall. Yeah, two bad bricks in there, but they're not such a bad person. And that is actually quite true because, you know, I mean I see people, because I'm not married to either of any of you here, because I'm not related to you, I can actually be like an umpire, I can be fair and say, so you're not such a bad guy, she's not a, such a bad wife. But still people don't agree with my judgement. No, he is terrible, you just don't know, you don't live with him. Yeah, you live too close to him, you can't see the real him, or the real her. But of course I try my hardest to actually to give ways of dealing with the problems of life. 